Hiya guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining me for this video. As you can see from the title, we'll be reviewing all things new to NARS. I was kindly sent over this Mahusive package by NARS. Um, I think I'm on their PR list, I'd say. I do get their um, mail updates. Anytime they've got something new coming out, I do get it in the post. This is so heavy. This is the gorgeous packaging that is coming right here. And if I open it up for you... So this is the collection right here. So we have the bronzers, and um, we have this like highlighty bronzer. We have the eye pigments, and we have two lip oils right here. So if you want to see what my thoughts are on this collection, and I do have a full face of Nars coming up on my Instagram. It should already be up yesterday so you should be seeing this on a sunday i did upload it on a saturday so yeah if you want to see a full face of nars then head over there so i started this video with half of my base done so i've got my powder my concealer and foundation and primer i didn't use a nars powder because i don't have a nars powder um but i did use the beauty bakery flower better not bitter powder the foundations that i went in with you can all look on my instagram um just so you guys are, like want to see a tutorial but i want to just start off like this because i wanted to focus on the eyes first and then do the rest of the face just in case there is a little bit of fallout all of that jazz so um we are going to be using one of these pigments right here so if i read out to you are a golden lineup of power chrome loose eye pigments that bring incandescent shimmer into new light um and so we have the four shades right here um, I do actually already have their pigments, which I love. They are a little bit expensive and you don't get a huge amount of product. However, you don't need to go in with loads. So it's sort of like weighs out in a way. Um, I have used them. You guys went mad over my Instagram when I used these because you guys loved how the look turned out. So these are the pigments right here. If I can show you, my camera doesn't really do them justice, to be honest. But yeah, so I'm thinking of going in with this shade today, which is called Stricken, which is like this sort of very bronzy, deep chocolatey brown, which I'm thinking would look cute on the lid. And then maybe a little bit of shock them. I think I already have shock them. I think I do. Yeah, so I have two of these. So probably one will be going in a giveaway for you guys because I already have this and I have used it and I'm in love. I had the blue one already, but however, the two blue shades are very different. But, um, Naked City, which is this gorgeous deep blue which i used on my instagram and you guys loved and then i've got isla mirada which is a gorgeous like tealy blue shade i'm probably not going to be using this today because i wanted to get away from any bit of color just for today and um, but i'm going to probably use more of a bronzy yeah you know so yeah i think these retail for 22 pounds each are they worth it yes you don't get a load of product you only get 1.5 grams of product for 22 pounds however i love them so yeah you probably can get pigments from other places but the nars pigments are really really lovely so i am probably going to be using the shade um stricken in just a moment but i'm going to do my eyes off of camera if you want to see how they look head over to my instagram and then i'll come back to apply the pigment okay so i have gone in in the eyes right here um i did use the um after glow eyeshadow palette and i use that as a base and then i did just pack on the nars stricken pigment as i said onto the eyes i'm going to keep going in just a little bit this packs on beautifully dry like it just packs on marvelously um you don't have to go in with like a glitter base or anything like that i did find that each of the actual pigments are slightly different depending on the one you get now this one gives more of a foiled effect on the lid it doesn't look too chunky it sits on the lid beautifully however the one like shock them um is formulated in a way like it's very much like a glittery pressed hard to explain type of vibe like i feel as if maybe it's because mine might have broke i don't know and um, same with the blue one the blue one has this sort of like chunky vibe to it which is lovely however you do have to spritz the brush pack on a little bit and build rather than this one you can pack on as much as you want and it will just glide onto the lids beautifully i just wanted to go something very coppery very bronzy today so i'm quite proud of this i love this color love this color i don't really see too many pigments like this in this color just because they tend to just work better in shimmers but nars you've aced this one particularly as you can see there is barely any fallout there's a tiny bit of fallout there which is great which is great 
which is great so um yeah thumbs up to these ones so far like i'm generally loving the eye look i thought it was going to be a little bit plain i thought this wasn't going to come out how i expected it but this is definitely what you expect like i'm definitely getting really bronze vibes to this i'm so happy with it i'm in absolute love massive thumbs up so i'm going to do my under eyes apply mascara and then come back to you for the rest of the products the eyes are done i did go in with the climax mascara i forgot how love how much i love this mascara i think i'm not going to use any lashes today just because i feel as if this is enough i don't want to go too overboard now we're going to go actually more into the base so we have here the new bronzers which ooh, I know, I know something's going to drop in a minute. I can just tell. So these are the new bronzers right here. I don't know too, too much into the information and whatnot. I will put all the information in the description. I'm trying to find a place to put everything now because this box is flipping huge. Chronic bronzing powders turn up the heat with the new shades plus a new matte formula that imparts soft, sultry warmth for the ultimate sunkless glow. Okay, so that is all i want in a bronzer to be honest so we have i'm going to show you each individual shade velata 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 nars names are always really difficult to pronounce so this is the packaging of the bronzer right here i think it's gorgeous got this soft matte feel like the usual nars packaging similar to the blush packaging so this right here is the shade velata um this comes off very pale um i could probably use this as an under eye powder when i actually look at it i might not i probably will give this one to my mum because she is fair um so yeah this would probably be for fair skin type Next shade that we have is samoa which is right here um obviously like i said i'm not going through shade up by up i don't really know which one is in which order but this is the shade samoa which is a little bit darker than the other one and a little bit more orangey tannish sort of shade this is like a perfect tan shade so san juan um, or San Juan, San Juan, which is right here. This one is fairer than the previous one, but darker than the first one that we have. Never tried the Laguna bronzer, however, we have here the new Laguna matte bronzer, which is right here. That is the Laguna matte. And then we also have been gifted the normal original Laguna, which is right here. This is the shade Laguna right here. Uh, Casino, which is a little bit darker than... Um, laguna i think i might be using this shade today which i love and then the last shade that we have been given is the shade punta cana which is definitely the deepest out of all of the shades so i think from because they say new shades obviously i'm guessing they have a deeper range as well as a, a fairer range but sort of around the medium has been extended i would say and um, obviously these shades particularly are not directed towards deeper skin tones in my personal opinion i think you guys could see but more the light to medium if not fairer section and um, so i think out of all of these i probably have to go quite dark i don't think laguna will probably fit me very well i think laguna might be my everyday bronzer i think but um, I'm just looking, maybe my everyday type of bronzer, but I want something a little bit more dark, a little bit more rich today. So I'm probably going to go in with the Casino and see how this goes. I think Casino might be a good match for me. The current bronzing brush that I'm loving is the Fenty 125 Face Brush. I do really, really love this. I'm just going to wipe off the ex excess product because we don't need, we don't need all of that. This doesn't come off too intense because we just wanted a really bronze look today yeah that's definitely the color i was going for obviously right now it looks really really harsh but once it is blended in we should be all dandy so far this is definitely pigmented like i've not really tried too much into nars bronzers it's always one of the products i've always wanted to try from nars um but this is heavily pigmented not heavily pigmented it's not as pigmented as the hula bronzer that one just comes off super super pigmented on my skin um but this one's really nice i think casino is perfect if you really like a proper bronze look if you are anything around a mac um nc25 or if you are in vanuatu in the nars all day luminous foundation i think it's all day luminous or the or, oh natural radiant long wear i am in the shade no i'm not i'm in the shade sahel um i can wear vanuatu as well but i prefer sahel which is just oh my god i love it huge fan and i think casino was the perfect shade if i really want to go ham with bronzer but i think laguna might be my everyday shade so yeah massive thumbs up to this would i recommend 
definitely i think the bronze is the, the formula obviously i'm guessing this is the typical formula but i've not tried it but yeah i think the shade is beautiful it's definitely how it's described to be it's like a um, soft a new matte formula in part soft sultry warmth for the ultimate sun kiss glow i'm definitely getting that i feel um you can of course go on top with a little bit more of a shimmer bronzer or really go with a gold highlighter but yeah i think i am getting what i wanted from this some bronzers don't actually deliver this i get the whole bronzer vibe um like i pick up a bronzer and i go okay cool i really want the bronze goddess glow but i can't get that from a lot of bronzers this one i am definitely getting it from that so and it's very much sculpting like it's it's giving me bronzer but it's sculpting like a contour so massive thumbs up there okay so now we move on to something that i'm super excited for um so i think this is the paradise found bronzing powder however i feel this is like a highlighter as well so this is the packaging of it oh my goodness are you joking now here is the movie. obviously you've probably seen this already but i think this is probably the most gorgeous thing i've ever seen in my whole makeup career like that is absolutely stunning like it's absolutely stunning i think it's so gorgeous it's so like dreamy it's dreamy and this is like a highlighter type bronzy bronzy thing that fades into a bronzer but i'm just going to go in with the top part today as like a highlighter to see the brush i'm going to use is the um, bretman rock wet and wild highlighter brush this is cute i like this so ooh, i'm just going to spritz my brush i always spritz my brush when i am applying shimmers just to make them pop but i'm going to take this right here i don't know how much it's supposed to be i don't know it doesn't say much on the little press sheet but i will put everything in the description okay so i think this has glitter over it so i'm not too sure what that is supposed to be but the glitter comes off anyway so okay no i have just realized that the these are actually little glitter particles i generally thought that was going to be a highlighter but to be honest it just looks like a bronzer so we're going to have to do a pass on that which is sad but i was really hoping that that was going to come out as a highlighter but i'm i'm, I'm upset but we'll move we'll, we'll, we'll move new oil infused lips which i am all for i think these look gorgeous these are the two shades right here that i was gifted i currently have the shades reef and laguna so this is reef and this is laguna i'm not too sure what i'm gonna go in with first but obviously i'm gonna quickly line my lips do my actual lip shade and then we'll go on top with these i'm gonna take the shade laguna which i feel as if is gonna be my best match which is so gorgeous i'm in love so i'm going to take that and obviously the doe for applicator just looks like so so pretty and we're going to take that on top of the actual lip okay so this is very different for me i've never really tried the nars lip oil infused thingy majigis but it's definitely giving me like very glossy lip vibe and i am living for it I'm not gonna lie to you i am living for it it looks very very nice to be honest i think it's a bit too much for me especially with the lip color that i'm using and i feel as if the actual lips the lip the, the, the lipstick that i'm using or the, like the lip crayon that i'm using it's going to slide around a bit but again I'm not complaining it looks lovely on the lips may i just say so yeah that is literally the full face done um i am pretty living for it i really really love it i'm definitely getting the bronze vibes that i wanted i am so so impressed i think mostly i am impressed with the bronzer and the eye pigment obviously there wasn't much to review um but i was really really impressed with it i think this launch is lovely obviously it is a little bit expensive nars tends to be on the more expensive side but their products are amazing like this is one of the best faces that i've had in a long time so i've also used everything i've used everything on my face but setting powder um i obviously the the mascara wasn't to do with this review however i am so madly in love with the mascara 
love it so yeah i was really impressed i think my least favorite might be the oil tints just because i am not used to this like type of product on my lips doesn't mean that it's terrible i think it's a great product however it's just a little bit too ott for me but of course i'll probably make it work in my looks and things like that so yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what your thoughts are let me know if you're going to pick anything up from the bronzing collection if it's the bronzer if you have any questions to do with shades or anything like that either put it in the comment section or please head over to my instagram which is at hands and loose and please send me a dm i'll be happy to help you out um yeah if you want to see this full look please head over to my instagram like i said it is already on there i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video once again please give it a massive thumbs up and i shall see you in my next one bye